Hi, it's Lori from Coast to Coast Craft Girls coming to you from the West Coast. I wanted to share another card I made with the Enchanted Ocean Collection. I am loving this collection. Um, and let me show you, it's a reverse easel, so that's why I have the camera set this way. So when it opens up, it looks like that. And let me show you how it's made. Okay, I've got all the pieces together and let's put this together. So we're going to start with um, a five by seven tent fold card. So top fold or top fold. And then I am, took the embossing folder and I embossed a piece of light sort of medium blue cardstock. And then I used my uh, Starlit Sky shimmer ink pad and just kind of put a soft glaze on the top. We're going to put that on our card front. Then I've got my sentiment, may all your wishes come true. It's going to go right about there. So then I've got the mermaid and I uh, stamped and cut her out of watercolor card and I painted her with the uh, from the shimmer palette and I'm just going to put her right down below and I'm going to leave the front relatively plain because there's going to be a lot going on the going on on the inside so we're just gonna kind of raise her up with some 3d glue gel just like that i probably should have not put her on yet but that's okay and then on the inside i'm going to make a reverse easel so this um Construction weight acetate is going to go on here and it's five by eight scored at an inch and I'm going to attach it to this top section here. Okay. And I need to do that um, fairly quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. That's why I said I should probably not have put her down yet, but that's okay. Um, should probably use red liner tape, but we're going to do it this way. Lots of tape and some glue, some tacky glue. And you want to glue this onto the front flap inside, just right up at the edge. Make sure it's straight and then press it down. Okay. And then that makes your reverse easel, just like that. Now, on this underneath part, I've got some patterned paper. And I just took a sheet from the paper pad and I'm going to put right in there. And I want that behind because it's going to sit like this. So you're going to see that. And then I've got this paper, the other part of that paper that I'm going to put down here. And now it's just the fun part of decorating. There's my easel. So I'm going to put this, so I cut the edgeable, this harmony of shells edgeable, and I cut it in a white center of pearl and then in a dark blue and just kind of offset it. And it's a six inch edgeable and I only have a five inch card. So I just kind of trimmed it off and it's going to go right along the bottom of that just to give it a little bit of a sturdy edge and to help um, it stand up. And you're just going to line it up right along the bottom edge and side to side edge. Press it down and that gives you a nice firm edge for it to stand on. So when it's creased, it's got a good 
sturdy base. Okay. Now we're going to decorate. So I've got a seahorse, the seahorse, and I um, stamped and heat embossed him in black on vellum, and then I colored on the back of the vellum with my um, alcohol markers in a dark coral and a gold yellow. And my seahorse is going to go on here, and I'm going to put my large shell on there. And then my jellyfish is going to go back behind here with the other jellyfish. Okay. So let's put my jellyfish on first. And this jellyfish is... Um, I cut one layer, the, the base layer, out of vellum, and then the top layer is out of uh, white centura pearl. And the vellum that I used was a printed vellum. I'm trying to remember which of the collections it came from, but it was one of the printed vellums, and it's kind of a, a lavender-y and purple. Oh, it's got some lavender and purple in it. And then the white so, touch of silver centura pearl. And it's just going to go right up there. I love that jellyfish. I think it is the coolest thing. And then we're going to put Mr. Seahorse down here. And you can see the glue through the vellum even when it's colored. So I'm going to try and follow the embossed lines for the glue so that it doesn't show quite so much or doesn't look so bad. Just, it's on acetate, so it's going to take a minute for that to grab. So I just need to hold it. I was going to put the big shell on there. Yeah, I think I will. And again, the shell I cut out of Centura Pearl on the top layer, and then the bottom layer is vellum. And then I took my alcohol marker from the back and just kind of flicked up right around, right, you know, and I just kind of twisted it around like this and just kept twirling it all the way around. And it, I love the way it looks. It came out really nice. So that's going to go down there. And again, it's vellum, so we're going to try and keep our... our uh, glue around the outside where the centura pearl layer is and then hopefully you won't see that glue on through the vellum okay so that's pretty much it for my inside. I think that's gorgeous. Um, now you could do, if you wanted to do some seaweed or coral. No, I might do some coral. Let me see. I've got a bunch of coral cut, so let's see what it looks like. Let's see if I think I need it.
Yeah, I might add a little bit of the coral. Probably should have put that on before I put my seashell down. But I think I'm just going to put it over here on top. Or not. No, I think we're just going to leave it alone. But I do need a stopper for my easel so that it stands up. And I cut and um, stamped this shell and then again painted it on the watercolor card and then painted it with the shimmer um, palette and I think I'll use that and then I've got another jellyfish that I think I'm going to put down here as well so those two things should I use the jellyfish I think I'll use the jellyfish and the shell. So let me get some foam pads there. Yep, that'll work. And then this shell is going to go on this side. Right about there. That's where I want my stand. And then I'm going to put my jellyfish just down there. And actually, I'm going to put that one. I think I might put that one. Use some 3D glue gel on that one. The 3D glue gel doesn't seem to show as much on the vellum as some other things. Certainly not like a foam pad would. We're going to put it just about like that. And that's it. We're done. I love how that came out. So it's a reverse easel. So it goes like this. You open it. And here's the inside. Looks like that. Not pretty. I love that. Hope you like that.